Hey, what's going on guys? Justin from Vanguard Armory Sabres and today we are running the second operation on our Beskar steel plate. Uh, we've been making these out of aluminum and they will be sent out to be etched by Ryan Lannan of Ronan Custom Armory, the best etcher in the business. So anyways, we got our Operation 2 loaded, all of our tool installed, offsets programmed. We had a hiccup on a uh, previous run over here. Might as well show my learning experience, but you know, we just had a, a too high of a chip load and too deep of a plunger rate for that slot, so we broke the tool. So that was a learning experience. So anyways, I'm being joined by my buddy Sean, who's running some other ones over on that machine. And uh, we're pretty much ready to go. So we're starting fresh. So let's program. We got the program going. Uh, we got memory, position. All right, so. You're not gonna see much because we're gonna be flooding it with coolant. That's good. So this operation is cutting it down to size. our finishing cut. There we go. Alright, next we're going to start doing those slots. This is where I fouled up last time. Ah, uh, it's sounding much better now. But Justin, we can't see what's going on. Eh, I value tool life more. Last one I ran, I didn't have the coolant on because I wanted a good video and look what happened. So. This yeah. second one. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Well, if the machine is really super clean, you needed that little bump to the edge. Yeah. So, on, on, let's give people a 10% bump on their mid Yeah, bump on the side. All right, our position distance to go is looking good. So now this tool path is gonna go in, add a little corner break on those slots, and then do the periphery. So we're doing a, uh, a heavier corner break on the edge here. So it's taking an initial cut, and then we'll go around again and do a cleanup cut. Oh, oh, that looks so good. Uh, Sean just finished one up and he was showing it to me, but I wanted to keep the camera on this. And here we go. Ooh. 
This is the way. All right, so we're gonna keep plugging these out, get them all cleaned up, and then uh, they hopefully will be going out to Ryan tomorrow. Anyways, guys, thanks for stopping in, and I'll catch you guys later.